James in Marseille, France writes, Paul, I love music. You're in good company, my friend. And I am fascinated by the equipment and have that reproduces it and have really been enjoying your content, including your audiobook. Why, thank you, sir. I have a question about amplification. As I understand it, the power amp has a constant power output and the volume control restricts the output through resistance. Is this really the best way to achieve clean, noise-free amplification? Would it not be better to vary the amount of amplification as opposed to resistively limiting what goes into a constant gain amplifier? Okay. Yes and no. Mostly yes, but there are complications. So we continue to make a product called the gain cell. And the gain cell is a variable gain amplifier. It is based on something called a Gilbert cell, which is a, a current device. And the Gilbert cell is basically a variable gain amplifier that uses a varying voltage to change the gain of the amplifier. And it's a real good way of doing it. In many cases, it is better than using that resistor that you're talking about, which we call a potentiometer. Now, to be clear, modern day amplifiers and preamplifiers use all sorts of means. They use potentiometers, uh, which is the old style, which is a, a variable resistor to go up and down to limit the output going into a fixed gain amplifier. But for the most part, these gain and uh, volume controlled devices are within the preamp and that feeds somehow a fixed gain amplifier. So what you're referring to it would be the idea of taking a power amplifier and adding a volume control inside, however we were to do that, right? Or by varying the gain of the amplifier, which would keep it clean and simple. So we did something like that in a product years ago called the Stealth. And the Stealth was a power amplifier with a variable gain input stage. Now, to be fair, the Stealth used uh, a pretty tricky device but it essentially had a volume control, a pot. I've never made a power amplifier with variable gain. Now, it could be done, but let me explain some of the, the problems because one of the things we always talk about in engineering is everything we do, like it or not, is a compromise. Engineering is a series of finding the very best compromises to get you where you want to go. That's just the nature of engineering. There's no such thing as a perfect solution. So if we were to vary the gain of an amplifier, depending on how we do it, all sorts of things change. If you were to vary the amount of feedback, for instance, feedback controls the gain if you have a negative feedback loop. If you vary that gain, you can go from a gain of one, which is whatever you put in, you get out, all the way up to 30, 40 dB, whatever you want by just varying the amount of feedback, and that varies the gain of the amplifier. But one of the things that we know is that the amount of feedback in a power amplifier has all kinds of implications. It changes the damping factor on the output. It changes the output impedance, which is related to what I j had just said. It changes, oh gosh, so many aspects, and it sounds different, so at different amounts of feedback, you're going to get an amplifier that sounds different. And that's eliminated, of course, if you don't do that. Other ways of controlling the gain, you could put a Gilbert cell like we do in there. But that's essentially the same sort of thing that we're doing inside of the preamp. So I don't know that there is a magic bullet here that we could uh, suggest because, again, everything is going to be a compromise. I suspect that at the, at the end of the day, you would be better off having a constant gain power amplifier where we can control every variable possible for the best sound and then just vary the input voltage coming in. I still think that's going to be the best bet and why we continue to do that. But is it possible? Sure. Maybe some bright young guy 
will go out and do it and prove me wrong, and I hope he does. All right. Thanks. Good question. Talk to you later.